Hello, my name is Anna, um, and welcome to my floss tube. Um, I've decided to start this floss tube now after I got into cross stitching. Um, I've been stitching on and off probably for a good 20 years, um, but I never really got into it until um, I had my first child about five years ago now. Um, I now have two children, a five and a two year old, um, and I decided while on my second maternity leave to cross stitch Christmas stockings for the kids. Um, and when I started the first one, I was having some issues with it. So I started looking for, um, seeing if I could find some help online and I found found one cross stitch group on Facebook and got some help with it there but that um, led me down a rabbit hole all about floss tubes and cross stitching groups and cross stitching meetups and lots of fun things so my mind has been blown um, so I thought I'd start a floss tube now oh I'm not very good at this sorry <laughs> Uh, so I'm going by Viking Stitches on YouTube and Instagram, um, and that is because I'm from Iceland. Um, I'm now living in the UK. Um, my husband is British, so our kids are British and Icelandic. Um, I did live in the States, in Texas, when I was a child for about, was it, about six or seven years. Um, so I have a bit of an American twang in there, but it's, it's definitely gotten a lot softer over the last 12 or so years that I've lived in the UK. Um, yeah, I think that's about it about me. Um, I'll start with my main current projects. Um, so as I mentioned, um, the... Thing that really got me down this rabbit hole was doing um, Christmas stockings so I've done my son's my eldest's um, I'm not going to show his name so I'm just folding down the top um, but this this is his stocking so that's almost fully done you can see I've done all the stitching and I really love this pattern it's a dimensions kit um, and I really love the little, like the little rabbit and the snow cat and everything is really gorgeous. And uh, even though I hated doing all these French knots, it, it is very effective and I do like it. Um, I haven't quite finished it. So I've got this, this is the fabric I got, I got this off of Etsy. Um, and I'll, I'll link it um, down below. But I got that fabric for my son because he loves vehicles of any sort. Um, but you can just see here on top, I haven't quite finished this bit, so I need to finish that. Um, I was doing that so my mum, my whole family still lives in Iceland. My mum came between Christmas and New Year's and we, she helped me do, um, as in like, turning it into a stocking so the actual sewing with the sewing machine bit for this um, but we didn't quite manage to finish because her visit wasn't very long so um, she's coming back in August so I think we're going to try and finish it then and then I started the same kit for my daughter um, here's, here's the actual kit as you can see, Dimensions Kit, you can see here how the writing is. Um, and I'm making some decent progress with that. I would really like to get it done before next Christmas, um, but we'll see how it goes because it took me about a year and a half to do the stitching for the other one. But here is far I've got. So I've done a good bit of Santa's coat there and a fair bit of the 
snowman's coat as well and I just started the scarf for the snowman there so that's that one let's put you in here and what else am I working on I am doing this pattern so this is Emma Congdon I think I'm pronouncing that right um or I think her um Etsy shop is Stitch Rovia which is where I I got this pattern from I don't have her books unfortunately but I saw this pattern so it will eventually say though though she is but little she is fierce and that's my daughter in a in a nutshell so I've been working on this for just about a month it's stitching up quite quickly and I'm I just got to 70% just over 70% this morning um yeah just been working on it yeah I'd say just over a month um and I'm quite pleased with how quickly it's coming up um so the reason I can tell you the percentage is I use a um an app called Cross Stitch Saga um, and that was an absolute game changer for me it makes life so much easier and like I've converted the um, Christmas stocking pattern I've converted that myself and then uploaded it to Cross Stitch Saga and it's going so much quicker second time around because I can just tick things off on the on the app and it helps me avoid as many mistakes although they obviously still happen I recently had to frog some of this one because I didn't I missed out a line on the S and then from that bit the flower was in the wrong spot and it was going to crash into the bottom of the S so I ended up frogging a lot of stuff here but um yeah there you go I'm quite happy with it. It's very pretty. Um, and then I am doing a pattern for my son. I'm doing his name, so I'm uh, I'm not gonna show the whole thing. Um, but I um I had this made. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? My English is failing me now. I basically paid someone to make a pattern for me the way I wanted and I gave her some like color ideas and stuff like that and um, she made it from there but um, so it's sort of grey, yellow and white sorry my the video cut out because someone was trying to ring me um, I should probably put my phone on do not disturb next time um, right so I'll show you like a little bit because like I said I don't want to show the kids its full names but I've got a bit of pattern there where that's going to be a letter and then there's this is going to be like an excavator and we've got a little drop down there you can see it coming out um, so that's about I think I'm about 30% done on this one um, well it's coming out quite well and he's very excited I've shown it to him he's very excited about the excavator uh, excavator yes I almost said excavator Esca Ugh. I can't speak English at the moment right what else do I have? Where are you? There you are. So, this one is from Abby Sue Designs. And like I mentioned, I lived in Texas when I was a child. My parents went to university there. Um, and I saw this really pretty Texas pattern um, with the blue bonnets and everything and I just love the colors in this 
can see there the blue bonnets are kind of coming through. I think I might try and stick like the the actual finished picture here from the from where I bought it so you can see what it's meant to look like but here you go. I love the colors and I mean I'm not even much into like reds and oranges but I absolutely love like the gradients on this. It's very pretty. So that's that one. Um, I think I'm probably going to give that one to my dad because he's still very much like reminisces about it, their time in Texas. Then what else do we have? So how about this one? So I have two brothers and one of them is LGBT. So I got this this pattern. I'll stick it up there. Um, uh, gay agenda. I thought it was hilarious, and so did he. Actually, I quite often share with him what I loads of patterns that I see. Because yeah, like I said, when I when I got into the deep dive of um, Facebook groups and stuff and discovered patterns on Etsy, and that was that was a big big rabbit hole I went down. And um, so I have like, I reckon about 2,000 favorites on Etsy. So I don't think I'll ever get around to stitching everything, but I quite often share with him like patterns that I really like and stuff like that. So I shared that with him just to gauge his interest in it. And he was like, yes, he, he loved it. Um, but I've tried, decided to change it a little bit. So I'm doing it on Black Ada and you can just see I barely started it. There's the red rainbow there. Um, but I'm going to do the, the because obviously some of the letters are black um, and that's not going to pop on the black Ada. So I've got variegated. And, where is it? I lost it. It's somewhere. I've got variegated, like rainbow colored variegated floss and I'm going to do the um, gay agenda letters in that, um, in that like variegated floss, so it'll come out like rainbow colored. It's the, the first time I've ever done that, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. How I'm gonna get it to look nice and not just really weird, but hopefully that'll be good. Um, what else do we have? Um, so now, by now over a year ago, I joined the, um, I think it's called the Stitching Book Club or something like that on Facebook. I'll, I'll put the link below. Um, but she did a Narnia stitch along, um, which I've not kept up with, sadly, just with trying to, my main focus last year was trying to finish my son's stocking. Um, so I, I haven't kept up with it, but I am planning on finishing it at some point. So this is how far I've gotten, as you see, not very far. I'll see if I can find a picture of the finished look. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the colors in that one as well. The sort of blues and purples and stuff are very pretty. And then, so I'm a massive nerd, um, and Legend of Zelda is one of my favorite video games of all time. I'm pretty much obsessed with it. So um, I came across, it's a Legend of Zelda, but in like, I think it's like an Art Deco style. So if I put the pattern, the finished full pattern here, not the pattern, but you know what I mean. Um, so this is Midna, who's a character from Twilight Princess, Legend of Zelda, um, in this like Art Deco style and she's just gorgeous. I love the colors, in case you can't tell, I like like blues and greens and that sort of thing. 
um, definitely largest pattern that I've ever done by far. Um, I haven't gotten very far, sadly. Um, but I've got her on this frame. As you can see, I've just, just done a little bit, and this is on the side of her dress. Just a little bit there, not very far. But I started doing, it's my first time ever doing like, um, what's it called, mixed threads, where you take two threads, one from each color, and mix them up. So you can see that kind of, kind of in here, these ones are mixed, whereas this one is just one color. But I've got it on this um, hand dyed fabric, because I thought that would go well with her. Um, oh, and this frame, this is the first time I've ever used a frame like this, a massive, um, but my dad got me that for Christmas. I just don't think he knew what the hell was going on, he had no idea what about cross stitch anything, but he was just like, yeah, fine, if you want that for Christmas, I'll get you that. Um, and then he seems to have taken it to heart, because he then got me this as well. This lovely, um, kit. So that's a cool kit, you can see all the colours and everything. Um, it looks very pretty. I don't know when I'm going to start it, but it's very nice. It's got all these little, you can see the little sparkly bits. And that's, you can, there's like sparkly thread to go with it, so all the sparkly bits will actually sparkle. So that will be very nice. Um, what else have I got? I don't think there's anything in here. Oh yes, yeah, I do have something in here. Um, so there's a, I think she's Ukrainian, an artist. Um, and she's been doing the cross-eyed cricket um, mittens. And she has a whole collection of them and they're gorgeous and I really want to do the same thing. But she's made a few of her own. Um, <coughs> and I started doing her, it's like a Santa mitten. So I was doing this at Christmas. But as you can see, it's, it's not not quite done. I'll pick it up near Christmas time again. Um, but that one was quite quick stitching and I'll, I'll link that one below as well. She has several, she has, some of them are free, like that one was free on her, excuse me, website. But she also has some that she sells on her Etsy shop. They are quite nice. So we're getting towards the end here. So I have, uh, when my son was born, I had the idea that I was going to do um, <coughs> cross stitch patterns for his nursery. And I wanted to do like a travel theme because me and his dad used to travel a lot before we had kids and not so much anymore, surprisingly. Um, but I got four patterns from Satsuma Street. And this is the only one I've actually done anything on. So this is Pretty Little Tokyo. It's all very almost done. Um, there's just a few bits, like there's a little, little bit there. The sun's supposed to be up here. It's not quite done. And there's a few bits here in this tower. And the white bits and the waves, but I think that's about it. It's very close to being done. But as you can see, when I started this, I wasn't very um, knowledgeable about things because I've done it very close to the border. So I'm a bit worried about how I'm going to frame that. But I have a few ideas. I've seen a few ideas on various groups about how to finish that. Um, and if we go from there, hang on. There we go. Sorry. So just finding some of the patterns I have on my husband's iPad. So this is Pretty Little London, also from Satsuma Street. And I got 
pretty little New York. And and pretty little Hong Kong. So I chose these ones because these are all places that me and my husband have, me or my husband have ever been. I've never been to Hong Kong, but he has. Um, and we've both been to Tokyo and obviously been to London. We live in the UK. I used to live in London. Um, and New York, yeah, we've both been to. And then, so I was a bit sad because I couldn't get Reykjavik. Which is obviously the capital of Iceland where I used to live, where my family still lives. So I couldn't get that from Satsuma Street. But then I recently found this one from Awesome Pattern Studio, which is an Ikevik. So I'm very happy about that. You can add that one. I think it's slightly smaller, so I think I might have to do it in a slightly bigger um, Ada. So that it will be roughly the same size, but I quite like it. It's the same sort of bright and colourful, although I might change some of the colours because I'm not a big fan of like yellows and that sort of thing. <clears throat> but we'll see, so yeah. I um, I have a slight problem with buying patterns. I buy far too many of them, um, but I'll show you a few of them. The ones I've got and the sort of the ones that I've got sort of more immediate plans with like I bought this one recently um so I think that one I'm gonna give to my mum because her family has an old house up in the north of Iceland that my mum and some of my family members have spent a lot of time sort of doing up and making it a bit nicer again um and so um, she saw that when I was looking at some patterns and she said that that would look lovely up at that house. So I'm going to do that for her. Um, and then what else have I got? I've got some more. I've got some more vehicles for my son. He's very excited about these. So I think the one that I'm going to do... Um, first out of these is this one, the digger or excavator, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, he's very excited about the digger. And I just love the sort of shading on that, even though, like I said, I'm not really into like yellows and oranges and that sort of thing. But I do really like the shading on this one. I think it comes out really nice. Um... Which other ones do I want to show you? This one probably, because this this is one of the first ones I saw on Etsy that really pulled me down into the hole because I just, this one's so gorgeous. And I am a bit of a crazy cat lady, even though I don't have any cats because my husband's very allergic. So I'll get out my need for having cats around with cross stitch patterns. But it's just gorgeous with the like blues and everything. Oh, it's so lovely. So I had to buy that. Um, this one I think is absolutely stunning. I don't know when I'm going to do this one, to be fair. But I absolutely love this pattern. It's so pretty. The only problem is doing it. I think it does need to be on like a black or grey Ada. And I'm kind of dreading it. The ones I have like the... The LGBT and the Zelda ones that are on Dark Adas is doing my head in trying to stitch on that. But I think it's going to be worth it in the end. Um, there's at least one more I want to show you if I don't get distracted. Oh, there's so many good ones. Um, Citrobia is one of my favourites, like I said. Um, so I bought this one recently. It's very pretty, lovely Christmassy. Um, I think I want to do that on like like an oatmeal Ada. That's what it recommends, and I think it will look really good on this sort of like off white kind of 
oldie worldy feel to it, I feel like. Um, I got this one a while ago, so it's a um, Christmas, tea, Christmas tree skirt pattern. So that will be very nice. I, I, I do love Christmas. I'm definitely a Christmas baby, as we would say in Iceland. And I got some more Stitcherovias here. Because I basically I bought the, um, is that, it's not really, I'm trying to do it on the pad and not to do it on my phone, ridiculous. Where is that better? Yeah, I think so. There we go. Um, yeah, when I bought the pattern for my daughter, I think that's how it went. And she sent me a discount code after that. And I was just like, well, I may as well buy several more then. Which is probably exactly her plan. Here's the, um, the thread that I, the variegated thread that I bought for my brother's LGBT stitch. Um, it's somewhere in my pile of stuff. I know it's not completely lost but it's clearly been put in the wrong bag somewhere, so I need to go find it. But I think that will look very nice. Sorry, I'm waffling a bit here. This one, I'm gonna, I bought like several of these when she was having a sale. Um, these like lovely animal patterns that I'm gonna do for my daughter. I'm gonna start with that one, the bunny, cause she loves bunnies. She has several stuffed ones that she carries around everywhere. Absolutely loves them. Oh, there's so many patterns. And I don't know when I'm gonna get to. This one's really lovely. That's another Christmassy one. A wintery one, but I'll probably use it for Christmas. That one's really pretty. I'm thinking of turning this one into like a cushion or something, because I'm going to run out of space on my walls to decorate anything. But yeah. I also got this one a while ago. This one was also so See, this is what happens, is that I have these things in my favourites, and then I get a notification of like, oh, such and such is having a sale, and I can't resist it at that point. So I bought these. Lord of the Rings ones. It's just, I love the colours in them and the shading. And to be fair, I also like, I feel like the back stitching on these ones really makes them pop. Even though I'm not looking forward to doing the actual back stitching part. But it will be worth it in the end. They're stunning. Right. There's one in particular that I want to show you and then I'm going to stop. If I can find it and I don't get distracted. I may as well just show you this here now. Here's the gay agenda. Where are you? There you are. This is the one that I definitely wanted to show. It's the Legend of Zelda. Um, that looks like a stained glass kind of thing. This one's going to be huge and it's going to take me years. But it is absolutely stunning. So I think that's all of the ones I really wanted to cover. So I hope that was all right. I hope anyone finds it interesting and I hope you'll come back and watch some more. So I think I'll do these like once a month because I, I I don't stitch often enough, I feel like, to be able to do a video that will be interesting every week or something. So I think once a month will be good. I can catch you guys up on my progress. Um, but yes, I hope someone finds this interesting and I hope you'll join me in another month's time. Bye!